Hi Scorpio, this is your reading from the 1st of May 2020 to mid-May 2020. I'll be using the Goddess Oracle deck by Sophia uh, Marashinsky, Amy Sophia Marashinsky. This is a love reading. Please do know it may not resonate for everyone. For those of you who are new, welcome. For those of you have subscribed, thank you very much for your love and your support. It is so much appreciated. I love the comments. And I love the fact that you like my videos. I love the fact that it resonates for how many people. Uh, I'm just happy that I can help. So, I'm going to do a quick prayer. Sorry, one just flew right off. Oh, yikes. Okay. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do is channel into the person that you're connecting with romantically uh, or that you want to be connecting with romantically. What is it that this person is feeling for Scorpio? What feelings does this person have for Scorpio? What emotions and feelings do they have? Synthesis. Mothering. Doubt. Inspiration. Scorpio, this person is their emotions are out of control. Honestly, this never happens to me. <laughs> Things never go flying. Oh my. I don't know, guys, but I'm gonna have to show you 100% pure love. Alright, let's see this. A couple of cards fall out here. And this too. Fear. One more card, please. All right. This came out before. It was supposed to come out. Under the bottom of the deck is order. All right, guys. Let's channel. My dear Scorpio, I'd like to make peace and harmony with you. But it seems that you've put up boundaries. And I'm doubting now that the connection will work. There's so much about this connection now, and my feelings, that's making me very nervous around you. When I'm with you and when I think of you, I think of unconditional love. You inspire me. I look at the world in a very inspiring, fresh way. Things that I didn't see before in a beautiful way, I see them now. I see the beauty in the world. I see the beauty in everything. And it's because I am so completely head over heels in love with you, my dear Scorpio. But you have put up boundaries. And I'm afraid, and I do have anxiety issues sometimes, because it's overwhelming. I want to make love to you, because I love you so much. I want you so badly sexually. But I doubt this will work because you've put up boundaries. And it seems like the situation is very chaotic right now. I need to make order. I want to make peace and harmony with you first. And I want to do this because I love you. That's wonderful, guys. I love it. Oh my god, I love it. These three cards, people. Listen to this, guys. These. Th oh, where did it go? This one. These three cards fell down. This one I reshuffled and this one came out. But the fact is, is that this person loves you and they are just afraid. They love you to the point where they could literally want to be married to you. That's how much love this is. This is 100% pure love. This is often love and lust. This is more lust, but this is definitely love. So this person does have genuine feelings for you. 
Very nice. I love it. I'm so happy when we get like a sweet reading. It's so nice. So, it makes the world a happier place, a better place. <laughs> so guys, let's see Scorpio what it is that this person is going to do in terms of their feelings towards you. How are they going to express themselves? What actions are they going to take? Actions are they going to take? Okay. Tower. So they're going to come to some type of realization. Something's going to happen which causes them to have a tower moment, an awakening, some type of realization. You might actually know this person through other people. You might work together. There may be some society that you're in, an association. Um, but it seems like you may, this just for a few may resonate with this, but it seems like they do have, um, you guys might have common friends. But whatever it is, this person likes, um, they like observing you, they like looking at you. They're waiting for their ships to come in. So they're waiting for you. Four of Cups. They feel like they missed out on an opportunity. I'm just going to do one more card for clarification. Ah, uh, Nine of Swords. Yeah, they're very much in their heads. So guys, there's not going to be a lot of action, frankly speaking. But at least you guys know in their heart that this person really has a lot of feelings for you. They're, they, they're head over heels for you. Um, the tower moment, so it does seem as if they're going to come to a realization that the person that they've been around with all the time, which is you, um, they actually want to be with you. They are waiting for their ships to come in. They're waiting for a sign, a signal, so that they can pursue you forward. They can go ahead and deal with you the way they want to, but they feel that they lost an opportunity. There could have been a chance between you two where one of you knew that the other wanted the other, but somebody actually missed that opportunity. And because of that, this person now feels the burn of that missed opportunity. Something great was being given to this person by Scorpio and this person now Scorpio is feeling that they missed out on that opportunity and they're having sleepless nights anxiety fear stress depression all that crazy stuff it's very bad it's unhealthy this could lead to mental illness it could lead to mental illness because there's two cards here very depressed very depressed very much depression like cards um, if you do meet with this person you know we don't like using the word crazy, but literally this person's going crazy without you, crazy with the entire situation. The Hierophant, this person wants to commit to you in a traditional way. They love you that much. They love you so much that it's hurting them inside what they did to you. And they're not really able to get out of their head right now. So it is going to take Scorpio, this person, very a while to get over what happened and to heal themselves. They're not even in the healing process. They're still trying to process what just happened. Um, but the one thing is, they know 100% for sure they actually very much love you. That's one thing for sure. They have feelings for you. So, I'm going to see what guidance cards you can get by the angels. This is Dorian Virtues um, Oracle Cards deck, Angel Therapy Oracle Cards. I'm just going to take up one card, see what it is, what kind of guidance they can give you guys. Alright guys, God Box, this is one of my favorite cards. Write any worries, concerns, or desires on a piece of paper that you put into a special container called a God Box. As a way of letting go and allowing the Divine to help you. Under the bottom of the deck is listen to your intuitive feelings. Your body is receiving accurate messages from the divine. So guys, keep these two in mind. Of course, you can always rewind, have a look. I just don't want to crowd up my space here. So this one, this deck is by also by Dorian Virtues. It's Angel Answers deck. So let's just see if there's any guidance that angels can give to you. Listen to your intuition not the right time under the bottom of the deck so listen to your intuition i believe okay so the one we just had before on this side 
Also listen to your intuitive feelings. This is listen to your intuition. So guys, clearly the angels want you to be listening to yourself first and not to others. Don't be influenced by others right now because they actually want you to go inside your heart, your mind, and decide on what you want to do yourself because you know what's right for you. Wow, that was kind of complicated. This situation is complicated, guys. So I hope some of you resonated with that reading. Um, let me know in the comments below. Uh, please do like, share, and subscribe. And uh, again, thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. And I will see you guys in mid-May. Take care then. Bye-bye.